Putting, the most neglected part of your golf game. People would rather go to a driving range and hit 100 balls than hit 100 putts. Funny enough, this part of the game is generally more than 50% of your game for some of you. So it's important to understand that when you get onto the golf course, that you know how to putt. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the relationship between your eyes and your lineup. Because if your eyes are too far inside the ball or too far outside the ball, it can lead to numerous amounts of faults. So first of all, let's cover what we would call eyes inside the line. So if I am to take my setup with my putter and my eyes fall short of the golf ball, what it gives you a perspective of is you are looking up to the hole. And if we're looking up to the hole, generally is gonna to lead to what I would call a push stroke because you're trying to push the ball out towards the hole. The problem is with this is once you've done that a few times, it then starts to introduce what we would call shoulder turn or hand turn, trying to get that ball back onto line. Something that you don't want to do. Vice versa, and the least common one is having your eyes too far over the ball. That gives us a perspective of looking back to the hole. So that will mean that we're gonna have a few pull strokes. And once we've had a few pull strokes, it's then gonna to lead to you leaving that club face open to try and get that ball back online. So as you can see there, a simple thing in your setup can create a numerous amount of problems. So we're going to do some things to help you fix this situation. Now, training aids, putting mirrors, extremely, extremely useful, simply because it's gonna give you instant feedback. If we're putting a putting mirror down on the ground and we take a perfect setup with our posture the putting mirrors generally have a line that goes directly through the golf ball. And if you've got a line directly through the golf ball, that means you can stand here and practice in trying to get your head into the right spot. If you've got your head into the right spot, it now gives you a perspective of, if you were to turn your head towards a target, of being able to draw a straight line. And the straighter lines that we can draw in putting, the better your putting stroke's going to be. Now, if you don't have a putting mirror, Here's another little simple trick you can do. Take your setup and what I want you to do is I want you to grab that golf ball between your thumb and your index finger and you're going to put it on the ridge of your nose, just like so. You are going to take your setup, you're gonna put that golf ball on the ridge of your nose and you are going to drop it. If it lands directly on the ball on the ground, you know your eyes are in the correct place. So I want you to work on getting your eyes over the top of the ball by either investing in getting a putting mirror or simply getting that golf ball, putting it on the ridge of your nose and making sure that your eyes are on top of the golf ball. It just means it's gonna give you a better chance of creating that perfect stroke. Work on that, make sure your eyes are in the right place and hopefully you sink a lot more putts. Let me know how that one went for you by leaving a comment down below.